Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She wowed us in the daytime talk world for years with her humor and wit, and now she's starring in the highly anticipated new movie, Brian Banks. Oh yes, and he is the American, the all-American high school football star who was wrongly convicted of a crime he didn't commit. His story is the basis for this inspirational movie. Let's take a look. Brian Banks was 16 years old when he was accused of a crime he did not commit. He lost 11 years scholarship. He was prevented from playing football. The system is broken. I know the system doesn't care about me. But you didn't deserve what happened to you. Brian's gonna run out of time. I'll tell you what's extraordinary. I am. Mm -hmm. My God, I have chills. Please welcome to the circle Sherry Shepard and Brian Banks. Yay! Yay! We're so grateful for both of you being here today to talk about this amazing movie based on your life. Sherry, let's start with you. Mm -hmm. Tell us what drew you to this story. I read the script and reading about Leomi, who is Brian Banks' mother, and her faith mm -hmm. and her fight for her son when he was incarcerated mm -hmm. every other weekend. She drove three and a half hours to see him and three and a half back. She never gave up on her belief for her child. And as a mother raising a young black boy, mm -hmm. that's your worst nightmare mm -hmm. to get that phone call that uh, your son has been arrested. Right. And so it just, her strength drew me to the script and I said, I gotta play it. Yes. Now being a comedic actress is a little hard. Right, right. We, we heard you fall for it. <laughs> yeah, I had to really yeah. fi fight for the role with some really amazing actresses and um, I'm so blessed to be able to honor Leomi by, yes. by telling her side of mm -hmm. this story. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Well, Brian, I mean, my God, um, I couldn't imagine. 16 years old, uh, on top of the world, all-American football star, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden your life just turns upside down. Describe for us what that was like. Yeah, um, at that time in 2002, I was 11th in the nation as a linebacker coming mm -hmm. out of Long Beach Poly High School, being recruited by every Division One school you could think of. And then the next moment I was in, you know, in prison, in jail, um, fighting a case that, you know, I shouldn't have been fighting. Uh, and just to watch my mom, as you said, do everything that she could uh, in all of her fight, just kind of fall on deaf ears, um, to lose all the scholarship opportunities, to not be able to graduate from or high possibly school go and, pro. and mm -hmm. possibly go pro. Just all of these things that you're uh, thinking about all while being uh, in a cage like yeah. an animal, uh, you know, kidnapped away from your family. It's kidnapped. all too surreal. Right, right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, how did you keep your mind together? Yeah. How did you do that? I had those moments, you know, I'm, I am human, so I had those many moments and in, in lots of days where, you know, I, I was angry, I, was, I wanted revenge, every mm -hmm. negative emotion you can think of, I had it. But I had to reprioritize and reorganize the way I saw myself and the mm -hmm. things that were happening around me. Yeah. Um, and, I, and, and I think what was big for me was knowing that I couldn't allow one moment in time to dictate the duration of my life, mm -hmm. that I wanted more than what I was being accused and labeled as, mm -hmm. uh, and that I if no one was going to fight for truth, then it would have to be me to fight yes. for my own truth. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad you did that. Sherry, really quickly, how were you able to draw from your, your experience as a mother? And in those scenes, mm -hmm. were you thinking of Jeffrey? Like, no, seriously, were yeah. you thinking of him? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Jeffrey was on my mind the entire time of having to advocate. My son was born mm -hmm. um, early at, at five and a half months with special needs, and I have always have had to advocate for him. So in these scenes, uh, and I would talk to Brian. He loves his mother so mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. And uh, so just pulling in from that, that strength and always having to fight and always believing that um, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Jeffrey absolutely. was the uh, impetus. Good. Wow. Good. So Brian, how many years exactly did you spend in prison and away from your family? Uh, five years and two months. So I, I went in at 16, I came home at 22, and then an additional five years on strict custody parole. So I registered, couldn't live within 2,000 feet of any school park, had his GPS on my ankle for a you know, total of five years. So. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and coming back out into society, mm -hmm. how'd you make that transition? Mm -hmm. Resiliency, wow. just trying my best not to allow the negative to overcome uh, the positive that was still left within mm -hmm. me, uh, knowing that I wanted more from me than anybody else could want more from me. So mm -hmm. I just continued to just try and make the best of, of, of the worst situation that I could, uh, try and, and uphold the promises that I made to my mom as a young boy of yeah. being the best man that yeah. I could be. Yes. Um, and just, just 
never given up on myself, you know. Do you feel like justice, I know over a period of time, you, you know, you gave a lot of, of years of yeah. your life away, but do you feel like that you got true redemption with being a part of this, with, with your story becoming a movie? Mm. Um, I would say that in a lot of ways, yes. Um, you know, I can't go back and, and, and reclaim the years that were taken away. Right, right. Um, but I, al I always say it's not what you go through, but how you allow it to affect you and what you do moving yeah. forward. Yeah. So for me, moving forward is to use my hardship, our traumatic experience in order to help other people in similar situations. Yeah. And I feel like I'm doing my part. Yeah, yeah. You know? What advice would you give to a mother? Mm. being in this situation oh. and what advice would you give to a young man yeah. being in this situation Talk to the moms. you know mothers it's, it our children it, they need us they need our belief in them they need I tell Jeffrey all the time you gotta tell me the truth and I'll mm -hmm. protect you with everything I got right yeah. and that informs everything mm. he does absolutely which is what happened with Brian yeah. yeah and I would say to, to young men uh, and women to just slow down, prioritize your life, and, and, and whatever it is that you want in life, make that your overall focus and not allow the distractions to take over yeah. where you want to get, get to in life. Beautiful. Well, thank you so yeah. much to both of you for being here today. We yes. truly do appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, and Brian, thank you for sharing your story. Uh, such a courageous story. Brian Banks' story, please, it opens uh, in movie theaters on this Friday, August night. You must be there, please. Yes, for those of you staying with us a full hour, Sherry Shepard will join us at the table, and the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms.